Brianna Aldridge joined by Garrett Podell from CBS Sports to talk about what is going on here at the Star. And the biggest thing, they have another tough road game. A team that has put up 30 plus points in three of their last four games. Wonder what that is like, Garrett. We don't know here for the Cowboys. But this is, again, another, again, tough opponent. And they have to be able to stop the run, something that they haven't been able to do. We have to talk about B. John Robinson. That's the name that keeps coming up in this press conference. How does this Cowboys defense so banged up contain him? That's a great question, and that's something that will remain to be seen because they have 223 rushing yards in San Francisco last week. That is, for those at home, really bad. And so, Bijan, I actually spoke to him in a Zoom one-on-one -on, -one on Tuesday, and he was gushing to me about what O.C. Zach Robinson, who spent five years on Sean McVay's staff with the L.A. Rams, has done a great job highlighting what all their stars do best, Bijan. Tight end Kyle Pitts, wide receiver Drake London. All those guys are having career years. And Bijan's top five in scrimmage yards. What he really loves is that he's getting them the ball in places where they feel like they can really be successful. I mean, in years past, you heard Arthur Smith, their former head coach, say, we're not playing fantasy football here. But when you draft three weapons like Bijan and those other guys in the top ten, you should use them. And that's exactly what's happening. And a lot of his success comes from the Falcons being under center, under center runs. The Cowboys are the least efficient team when defending under center runs. So on paper, this is a really tough matchup. And really the only hope is that they can somehow get Kirk Cousins drop back to pass. Because Mike Zimmer, the current DC here, was Cousins head coach of the Minnesota Vikings for four seasons. So maybe that knowledge, maybe that can help. Talking about pressure against Kirk Cousins, he's playing, again, this is another quarterback that's being very efficient. Um, he doesn't have to do much because teams haven't been able to bring the pressure. The Cowboys have not been able to bring the pressure. Micah Parsons is looking like he's going to be, as of Thursday, does not look great for him to play Sunday. He's still in the rehab group. He's still in the cords. So, again, another week without Micah Parsons. Who has to step up to bring that pressure? I think that's going to be Chauncey Golston. Mike McCarthy talked earlier this week about his versatility. He's lined up mostly in edge, mostly an edge player, sometimes gone inside on passing downs to really bring a little bit more speed rush. But I think it's going to rely on him, Ty Sweet, Carl Lawson. Golston's probably the best option to do that. And then they also need a little more push up front. Mozzie Smith kind of broke out, had his best game in week four against the Giants kind of took a little step back the last couple of weeks, and so they would like to see him take his level up a couple notches. You brought it up a second ago. Um, Pitts, obviously, a very big and another weapon for this team. Kittle, the other tight end, did the very disrespectful stuff to this Cowboys team. It is a lot of similarities there. Up the middle of the field, it was wide open, so many plays. It looks like Kittle just had a field day. How do they kind of fix it this week against another tough tight end? Bree, another great question, another one that doesn't have a simple answer for this Cowboys squad, right? Because they have Eric Kendricks, who's a longtime veteran disciple to Zimmer defense, but everyone else is pretty inexperienced. DeMarvian Overshone in his second year, but kind of his rookie year because he had the torn ACL last year, and then some rookies in Maris Liafu and others. But I think really for them, it's just going to be maybe bringing a safety down in coverage. We saw Donovan Wilson, your point, he got beat up the middle a lot by Kittle. Maybe it's play Wanye Thomas, a younger second year safety to bring maybe a little more athleticism in coverage. And yeah, Pitts, he had his first multi-career touchdown game last week in Tampa. And both of them were over 35 yards to your point. So Kittle, he had the big 43 yard catch and run that caused a lot of drama here at the star when Trayvon Diggs was asked about his role at the end of that play. And, if they're not careful, they're going to see Pitts do a lot of those things as well. Do you think there will be some changes this game in the secondary, especially, like you said, we saw Wanya Thomas getting some of those reps towards the end of the game. Things were just not going well. It seems like they just needed to make a stop, and that's what they did. Obviously, Donovan Wilson is the man getting paid for the job, but he's been burned out a couple times this season on some very big plays. Do you think the Cowboys might, like, hey, this isn't working, and just throw in some guys who aren't the – highest paid in that position but are getting the job done or could possibly get the job done? I think that's a great question and I think the answer is probably because Donovan Wilson he's been a solid run defender in years past but the run defense as a whole has struggled mm -hmm. with all the injuries up front on the defensive line particularly at the edge positions so I think it's time to try new stuff I mean this is a year in which so many dudes are on one-year contracts about to be free agents I think you have to try Wanye. Maybe Marquise Bell, who last year Dan Quinn used him as a linebacker, even though his natural position is safety. So he's shown maybe he can come up and guard Kyle Pitts as well, showing that he has both linebacker 
and safety experience. Yeah, McCarthy kind of touched it. You know, this isn't just the young guys that are new. It's actually veteran players that are also new trying to mix in. So it's going to be interesting to see if they can finally pull it together because you don't want to talk about the outcome of them losing their third game in a row. Another one on the road against the Atlanta Falcons team and just continue to follow fall in this division. But that's going to be it for now for Brianna Aldridge or Garrett Podell.